Okay, today we're going to look at a Unison Dead True uh, grinding fixture mounted on a uh, Unison uh, Omni Grind machine, which they have made for them uh, specifically by Harag. Uh, the differences uh, from this and a normal Harag is that uh, on this Unison machine, they have a through hole uh, going through the, the, the column of the spindle uh, so that if you're doing through feed grinding of uh, of, of rods or long rods, uh, you go right through the back of the machine and can have another person standing back there to help pull them through. Uh, it also has a Pope spindle, uh, which is different than a normal Harrig spindle. This is a little, this is a one and a half horsepower spindle. Uh, the machine is currently wired for 460 volts. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, the cross feed mechanism is, of course, operated by hand and the down feed by hand and the table positioning is all by hand. This is a hand feed machine. Uh, so what you would normally do, this is the Dead Truth Model C fixture. Uh, they make several different uh, models and this is the control box for it. So you have your on and off which is going to start a regulating wheel a turning in here. Now this unit is made to do uh, centerless grinding. Uh, it's a limited size uh, but they go up pretty high and what capacity they can grind. And of course you have uh, a wheel here that you can get a longer wheel, a wider wheel. Uh, we provide you with the wheel hub and the wheel nut. Uh, the wheels are something you'd have to get. But this is all adjustable. These work rest blades, they're, they're off, uh, optional, the optionals that you can buy from Dead True. Um, this could be adjusted for, I don't know the exact size range, probably something down to uh, below an eighth of an inch, probably up to an inch or so. Uh, so again, this is the control box. I'm going to turn this on. And my regulating wheel now is turning and we would use the grinding wheel uh, from the machine to do the grinding. Now this regulating wheel can be speeded up as well as slowed down. I don't know if you can see that, but it's turning right in between here where my finger is. We can slow it down and speed it up. Uh, you also have some manual stops underneath the table so that you could know right where the center of your wheel is to come in for your grind. Generally you would have your grinding wheel set at the proper, proper height to give you the proper diameter and then slowly come underneath the wheel with the table until you come to your stop which is mounted on the rail for the stops underneath the, underneath the table. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start the machine itself up which is that's the grinding spindle coming on and uh, that's basically it. You could uh, grind your part now and then come off the part and check for size. I'll make an adjustment if you needed to and then go back under. Like I said, if you go on Dead, uh, Unison Dead True's uh, website, they show lots of applications, different applications and different accessories that can mount onto this basic uh, setup here. I think I've covered just about everything, so I'm going to say thank you for joining us, and good day.